Hello and welcome back to the Football Pyramid, our brand new quiz show where we ask two contestants eight questions of ascending difficulty to see how far they can rise up English football's pyramid from the National League at the bottom to the pinnacle, the Champions League champions. Our two contestants today, you've got John Babb and Dave Jackson. Welcome, boys. And you'll each be given three lifelines. So you get 50-50, request a clue and super sub where you can call a friend for advice on the answer. Get an answer right and you move up a level of the pyramid. Get one wrong, you drop down a level. Let's see who ends up on top. Should be a class episode. Uh, Jacko, you've yes, done mate. this before. Yes. Do you think you got the advantage over Bab for his first time? Uh, I think I've always got the advantage over Bab, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Um, but this is, <laughs> this is my second rodeo. Um, just as long as, I'll be honest, dudes. If one of you answers these questions is not Cesc Fabregas, then what's this all been about, mate? You know what I mean? After that absolute shambolic um, showing in my last episode. But I am feeling confident, you know. I smashed Sonny up in the North London quiz on Friday. You know, 34th you in the whole of the country out of 16,000 people. Some decent bit wow. of pedigree going on there, mate. Yeah? I love that. Fighting talk, fighting talk. And Bab, you know, mm. normally the ref, you've become the refereed here. How are you feeling about answering the questions today? Mate, was, as long as I get a victory in be question, it, that life is good. And as long as I get it right, mm. you know, I don't want to get that wrong. That's all that matters. Fair. And as, as for Jacko, it's like, if, if it's not an Arsenal question, he's got no chance. Fair. Um, Bab, I'm going to let you uh, call the uh, the coin toss because you haven't done it before. So I'm flipping the coin now. Would you like heads or tails? Heads. It is heads. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go second. Okay. Okay, here we Wait, go. Hold on, he's bottled it already. What do you mean? <laughs> mm, I'll go second. Mm. Pal it's panicking. Panicking. Jackson, your first question comes in from Jan Rudolph03. Mm. And it's which player was used by John Babb as a clue in Stat Wars? A. Kenwin Jones, B. Aruna Kone, C. Victor Anichibe, or D. Kazenga Lualua? I think it may be C. Victor Anichibe. But I might, but I might be wrong. Yeah, I'm going to lock that in. This is a travesty. <laughs> and you're correct. Well done. An absolute travesty. A real shame you didn't go first, Bab. Oh, <laughs> gutted. <laughs> what can you do? Right, Bab, your question at National League level to kick off the show is from Blaze Vijagan. Uh, mm. Probably butchered that. Blaze Vijagan. It. It's not clear. Anyway, which club <laughs> sold Jaden Sancho to Borussia Dortmund? A, Chelsea. B, Man United, C, Man City, or D, Liverpool? I'm going to go C, Man City. C, Man City. Yeah. Correct. Great start. Bad. Come on. That's modern football as well, that. Well done. No one has got a National League question wrong yet. So, guys, you've done well. Although, last week, Henry and Zach both got one wrong at League 2 level. So, hopefully, this okay. doesn't throw you off too much. But, Jackson, this one comes in from XTGXX. Great name. And it is the Puskas Award is given to the current year's best A, goalkeeper save, B, goal, C, disciplined team, or D, promising youngster? He's panicking. He's panicking. He doesn't know. I, I think I think it's um, uh, best goal. You locking that in? Yeah, locking that in. You weren't quite sure, but you've gone with B, best goal. Yeah. And you needn't have worried. Well done, Jacko. You know, you know, you know, you know what? Wow. I, I proper fear then. You know, you know the famous like, uh, like Russian goalkeeper uh, Yashin. Lev yeah. Yashin. And I thought, yeah. have, have I got, have I got these two players mixed up here? So it's going to be best goalkeeper. <laughs> but no, calm, calculated, and the answer was Cesc Fabregas. <laughs> <laughs> Follow your heart, Bab. At League Two, your question comes in from Dave Carabini, and it's mm. which American side did Frank Lampard play for? A. LA Galaxy. B, New York City, C, Los Angeles FC, or D, New York Red Bulls? New York City. No Lock, hesitation. Lock locking in, in the New York City. Love yeah. the confidence. And you're completely right, Bab. Well done. Both into League One. Would Whoa. say that Jacko's probably looked the more nervous so far, but you're here without using any lifelines. So well done. Jacko, your question comes in from Naos O'Leary. And it's what year did Roy Keane famously leave Ireland before the World Cup? A, 1994, B, 1998, C, 2002, or D, 2006? C, 2002 in Japan and South Korea. Correct. Well done. Absolutely flying. Well done. Bab, your question comes in from Jamie McAllister at League One level. And it's what year did Man City win their first Premier League title? Oh, that's a tough one. 
A, 2009-10. B, 2010-11. C, 2011-12. Or D, 2012-13. Okay. <laughs> they won the FA Cup in 2011. So they beat Stoke. Mm. I'm going to go, so... 2011-12, I'm going to go with. The Aguero moment was indeed... 2011-12. Mm, well done. Yes. Both of you into the champ. Solid start. Little sip for victory. I've got to warn you, lads, this is where it starts ramping up when you get in the championship, as Bab can attest for Stoke this season. It's not easy. We're going down. Jacko, your question comes in from Jack Woolland, and it's which Premier League derby has had the most red cards? A, the Merseyside derby, B, the North London derby, C, the Chelsea Spurs derby, or D, the Manchester derby? I think it's the Merseyside, but I'm going to... You do have all three lifelines. All right, well, it's not Chelsea Spurs because it's, it's not even a derby, is it? It's just part of London. It's like, you know, it's, well, it is a derby, but... <laughs> um, I think it's either Merseyside or a North London derby. So can I, can I go 50-50, Dukes? Sure. Your 50-50 is the Merseyside derby or the Manchester derby? Yeah, I'm going to lock in the Merseyside derby, Dukes. You're locking in A... The Merseyside derby in the championship. You're going up to the Premier League, Jacko. Well done. Top That's stuff. Tough. That was tough. Good working out, though, in the end. Bab, your question comes in from Jasper Bevis. Mm. And it is Messi has played his entire professional Ooh. career at Barcelona. But who is his schoolboy team? Oh, A, God. River Plate. B, Newell's Old Boys. C, Boca Juniors. Or D, Racing Club. Oh, That's a toughie. Oh wow, wow we. <laughs> well, thank Jasper. Bad, but I tell you yeah. who I tell you, you could ring to, to find us out. Go on. And find out Messi, mate. Just give, just give <laughs> oh, foul, that's mate. good. That's good. That's good. You know. I just don't know. You do have all three lifelines. There's no shame in using one. So I can ask for a clue. Yeah. Do you want to ask for the clue? Yeah, ask for a clue. Your request to clue is Diego Maradona represented this club in the 1993-94 season. <laughs> Just um, as your interest uh, in football was peaking, no uh, doubt. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Boca. You're locking in Boca Juniors, is that final answer? I, yeah. think, I think it's news. Is it? Bab, you were in the championship. And you're doing a stoke. You're going down to ah! League One. It was Newell's old boys. Ah! Commiserations. Damn it. That's all right, mate. Shocking. Carry on with the dueling, mate. Jacko. Yes, mate. You, on the other hand, are doing very well indeed. You are in the Premier League. And your question comes in from Jack Meller. And it is, which team has experienced the heaviest defeat in a Champions League final since its inception in 92-93? A, Barcelona. B Juventus, C Monaco, or D Valencia. Okay, so Monaco, they only lost. There was only about the odd goal to Porto, so I'm ruling them out. Juve lost four-one, I think, to Real Madrid recently. I think Barca got spanked in the early nineties by. I can't remember who it was. Maybe it was AC Milan or something. Um, I tell you what, I reckon. I reckon George might know this. Or maybe maybe I'll, maybe I'll ring Stiff. You're going to call Stiff? Yeah, I'm going to ring Stiff. Here we go. Can I ring the same person? No. Oh, that is mental. Well, you should have, you should have got in there earlier. If so, I'd known so... that, I'd have called Stiff last go. Well, <laughs> speaker. Can you guys hear this? Uh-huh. Hello, mate. Uh, you're on the football pyramid. Please, please do not swear. You all right? All right, so my question is, um, which team out of these four options, I'm going to give you in a minute, um, has have has the heaviest Champions League final defeat? Is it Barcelona, Juventus, Monaco or Valencia? Uh, oh. Who? He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> Steph. He gave you Hold one on. syllable and he was off. Hello, mate. So, so, sorry, I uh, like, didn't like, really catch that, mate. So who, who uh, did you say? Barcelona. Yeah, was that was that was that in the early nineties, wasn't it? When I think they got spanked by yeah. yeah. 
Cool. Well. Yeah, that's what that's, 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 that's what I said. All right, mate. Cheers, 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 Stiff. I am going to trust Jonathan Stiff, um, and I'm going to go Barcelona because that that was my initial thought as well. So I'm going to lock okay, in Barcelona. So you're locking in a Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. I think you're right. You were in the Premier League. You took advice from Stiff. He recommended Barcelona. And you can thank Stiff. You're going up to the Europa League. In Stiff, we trust. Love it. And he's taken Stiff. Mental. Bab, we're in League One with you. Uh, yes. got a bit of catching up to do, but your question comes in from Hugo Back. And it is, who has the most Premier League own goals to their name? A, Richard Dunn. B, Jamie Carragher. C, John Terry. Or D, Colo Torre. Toffee. I think it's one of the, I think it's one of the first two. I, 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 honestly, I have actually got Richard Dunn's phone number. If you want to give him a ring, <laughs> <laughs> chance it. He'd love that. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't want to really use another lifeline. But do I want to go down to League Two? It's a dark, dark place that is, mate. I'm gonna go. Administration beckons. <laughs> with my gut and say Carragher. You're going with your gut and saying B Jamie Carragher. Go on. And you're going down to League Two. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Danny. Who is Richard Dunn? Yeah. Oh, oh Babinho. Come on. It's a long way back, but it's it, still doable. It's a long way back. I mean, if Jacko gets his next couple of questions wrong, you could end up in the same place. But yeah, not good, Bab. Looking bleak. It's looking bleak. Jacko. Tense. You're in the Europa League. It does ramp up here. Big time. This question comes in from Carl McSorley. Which player scored the most Premier League goals before turning 21? A. Wayne Rooney, B. Robbie Fowler, C. Michael Owen, or D. Nicholas Anelka? I, I think it's Owen because his record was just, it was just frightening. If he would have been around now, the way he would have been hyped would have just been like as if, mm. I don't know, like, yeah. But I've still got a request of clue or whatever it's you called. You do have a request of clue. So if he gets this right, he's, he's done it. He's beat me. Effectively, yeah. Oh, what? I'm going to request a clue, Dukes. Okay, your request a clue is this player scored seven goals for his country. So maybe it's an Elka. Maybe it's Fowler. Oh, no. So now it's either Fowler or an Elka. Caught between two minds, this is called. Is it? Is it? Is this? No, because an Elka pissed off after two seasons. I, I, I think it's Robbie Fowler. You locking in Robbie Fowler? Yeah, locking in Robbie Fowler. Carl McSorley's question at Europa League level, locking in Robbie Fowler. Jacko, you're going up to the Champions uh, League. Great use of a lifeline. Fair <laughs> enough. Should, should have gone first. Should've Superb gone first. work. Jacko, you are now two questions away from completing the show, but you have no lifelines. Right. Bab, in contrast, you're in League Two. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got some lifelines. So, you know, swings and roundabouts. Okay, your question comes in from Andrew Drossos. And it's mm. which Premier League club has won the most titles in the 2010s? A, Chelsea, B, Man City, C, Man United, or D, Leicester City? Got to be Man City. You locking in Man City? I'm locking it in. If this, if this, if this isn't right, put me into administration, mate. <laughs> You've locked in B, Man City. And you were right. Well done, Bab. Oh, mate, Some I've lost pride. all confidence. I didn't, even, I didn't even know that was right at that point. I'm, <laughs> I'm shot to bits. Some pride restored. Well done. You're back into League One. Jacko, you're in the Champions League. You're two questions away. Yes, mate. This one comes in from George Bailey. Who has the worst conversion rate in Champions League history? Minimum five penalties. So this is a, from the penalty spot. But the minimum had to take five. Yeah. A, Antoine Griezmann. B, Thierry Henry. C, Eden Hazard. Or D, Andriy Shevchenko. Wow. I... And you have no lifelines. Stiff can't help you now. And are you talking... Um... Penalties from open play, so it's not it's not like no. It doesn't shooter. include shootouts. I can't imagine. Four very good penalty takers there, mm. but I'm just thinking the sheer volume that maybe like an Omri or Shevchenko, just because they would have played more games, their ratio is going to go down. If that makes sense, like. I like the thinking. I think it. I think it's Thierry Henry. I can't remember even missing a penalty. Maybe it's not then. <laughs> just mate. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember Hazard missing many penalties either. The tension, mate. The tension. It's too much. I am going to go with... Griezmann. Andre Shevchenko. Jacko, you're two questions away. You've locked in Andrei Shevchenko after a lot of thinking. And you're not completing the show today, I'm afraid. It was Thierry Henry, your old best pal. 
I actually thought it was Thierry, but I thought I can't like disrespect him like that. So I thought leave <laughs> it. You know. Sight yourself out, mate. Sight yourself out. That is gutting. Gutting. Too much loyalty to your man. Bab. Yes. You're in League One. You need Lovely. this to get into the championship for your final question. Then you could finish in the Premier League and some, you know, you know, uh, pride has been restored. Question comes in from Nick McLeod. Who has scored the most Premier League hat-tricks? A. Aguero, B. Shearer, C. Van Persie, or D. Our old mate Robbie Fowler coming back up again? I think it's Aguero, but I will take a 50-50. The 50-50 is Sergio Aguero or Alan Shearer? Of course it is. Why, why, why would it be the other one? <laughs> why would it actually be helpful? It's the nature of the beast. I am going to say Aguero. You're locking in A, Sergio Aguero. Sod it. I don't care. Relegate me. <laughs> but you got it right, Bab. There's no yeah, need to relegate me. you. Well done. You're into the championship. Lovely. So this is actually quite tense now because, ja uh, Jacka, you're in the Europa League. But if you get your question wrong, you could end up in the Premier League. And if Bab gets his right, draw. you'll end up in the Premier League and then you have a straight shootout. I, like I, think, I think you're safe, mate. I'm, I'm probably going to call Zach on my phone a friend. So. <laughs> Right, Jacko, your question in the Europa League comes from Sam Goz, regular contributor on the Discord. If you want to get your question involved, make sure you DM me on Twitter and Instagram, particularly the easy ones, because we've really hoovered them up in recent weeks. Uh, your question comes in from Sam Goz, though, Jacko. Who is the only Premier League Golden Boot winner who has scored for two different teams in the season they won it? A, Robin Van Persie. B, Carlos Tevez. C, Teddy Sheringham. Or D, Alan Shearer. Okay, the Van Persie business was done very early on in the summer, so it's not Van Persie. Tevez, I don't know if he's even won the Golden Boot. Um, Shearer, I think that business was done quite uh, early on after Euro 96. I don't think it was Shearer. Who, who was the other option? Teddy Sheringham. Maybe it was Teddy when he went to... when he went Because he was Golden Boot winner first season, wasn't he? I think it's Teddy Sheringham for Forrest. You locking in Teddy Sheringham? Yeah. I think he's got it. I think he's got it. Jacko, you were in the Europa League, but you'll finish in the Champions League. Great work from you. That's really great answering. Fantastic. Got to appreciate greatness when it comes at you like that. Oh, cheers, mate. <laughs> Bab, yeah. you're in the Championship at the moment. Can you Lovely. finish up in the Premier League? Your question comes in from Pratik Shetty. Yeah. And is which Premiership club switched its kit sponsors from Nike to Puma in the 2019-20 season? A, Man City, B, Newcastle, C, Crystal Palace, or D, Arsenal? I will be phoning a friend. A super <laughs> sub, yeah. That's it, sorry, yeah. For legal reasons, come on. I need to request help from a sub. Who uh, are you going to be calling? Uh, I haven't prepped anyone, so I don't know if they're going to be free. Zach um, is always up for this, this. Zach's always up for it, yeah. Okay, George cool. might know as well, to be fair. I actually, actually think it's... Zach will be absolutely honoured if he was to bring him as, as his phone a friend. Yeah. Let's phone Zach. Let's roll the dice on Zach. <laughs> tense. Really tense. He's going to blank me now. Oh. <laughs> He's not getting off the bench. <laughs> <laughs> He's refusing to come on. He just doesn't want to play for his manager anymore, mate. He's done. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Rejection, eh? Uh, who else have we got in here? George, right, he'll be up for this. The super sub sub. <laughs> I don't think he's got one wrong Hello? when he's been called. Here we go. Here he is, George. You alright, mate? Oh, God. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's not going well, mate. I need this to get in the Premier League now, some respect. Alright. Are you ready? Which club moved sponsor from Nike to Puma on the kit in 1920 <laughs> season? Is it A, Man City, B, Newcastle, C, Palace? Or D, Arsenal? I think it's Man City. Are you in City, yeah? Yeah, I think it's Man City. Sure it's Man City. I'll, shall I lock it in? <laughs> um, well, it's up to you, Bab. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really a fan of joining it. I'll be honest with you, sure, mate. You don't seem that invested in it, but I'll, I'll trust you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's City, yeah? I think it's City, yeah. Lovely stuff. Cheers, dude. That's it. Right, that's in a bit. There you have it. It's Man City. Lock it in. Are you locking that in? Yes. A Man City. George was called yet again. And George, the hero of the football pyramid, does it again. It was yes. right. Well done. Finishing up in the wow. Premier League bag. What a roller coaster.
Great recovery, considering you dropped down to League Two. Then you got yeah. three in a row. Finish up in the Premier League. Are you chuffed with that, Bab? I, I'm relieved, mate. I honestly thought I was going <laughs> Conference, National League, whatever it is these days. Fox all. <laughs> oh, no, you, you did well. Great recovery. It was looking a little embarrassing at one yeah. stage, but, but you recovered well. Uh, Jacko? Yes, mate. Great showing. Champions League finish. It's where Arsenal belong, mate. Yeah, it's going to take a while to get back there, but that's where we belong. Oh, and if you'd only, you know, gone against your hero, Thierry Henry, I know. I'm actually you could have won the whole that. thing. I, I'm actually gutted about that. But, you know, oh, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't go against your heroes, do you? You know. This is true. Got to respect your elders and your betters. Um, but guys, thank you very much for watching The Football Pyramid for another week. Let me know who you guys want to see on The Football Pyramid next week. Remember to DM me your questions on Twitter and Instagram, particularly the easy ones, uh, and I'll get them to our great panellists for next week. Uh, Jacko, what should they go and do now? This is going out on Saturday on EFD. They should probably wait until Sunday and watch Sunday Vibes, because it's all I can remember <laughs> to think of when you was asked me the question, mate. Now, there's plenty, plenty of great stuff going on, you know, and if in, and while they're at it, maybe head over to Sky Sports Retro as well, the home of retro Sky Sports Clips. I love you know. it. And Bab, if they want to see your beautiful face, I mean, there's no stat walls at the moment, but where can they where can they see you? What should Mate, they do? I, do, I need a time machine. Man. I don't think I've done any content for about six months. <laughs> uh, oh, just watch this again if you want to see my face. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you know, just keep watching FD, innit? Yeah, help us out. Love it. Thanks Football. very much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.